I wanna change the square one day at a time. Oh yeah, peel it like an orange, one pig at a time. Oh, I'm for make a difference, change a few minds. And teach them of love and try to be kind. And maybe one day you'll come join this line. We'll start a new movement, the peace that we'll find. We could make a difference, we still have the time, yeah, we still have the time. Maybe I can, yeah. Just maybe I can't hey guys, as Just you can see, we have arrived to the grocery store. So we are in Kingston. This is the John R. Wong grocery store. Actually, this grocery store is located close to all of the main hotel, the S Hotel, the um, Pegasus, the Altamont. Mm -hmm. um, it's really a great location. So for those people who are, whether you're with your family or not, I always advise you to stop into the grocery store on your travels and pick up your basic necessities, your water, your juices, um, some chips, some little snacks, because this will cut down, especially if you're not staying at an all-inclusive, this will cut down on your eating out fees, right? And again, the main thing with traveling, you want to enjoy yourself, but you don't want to be... Um, travel broke afterwards and stressed so i always say stop into a grocery store pick up the main things that you may need that you don't have to run down stairs to go get a bottle of water i mean seriously a, a bottle of water at the hotel it might cost you like two dollars and fifty cents us i mean or you know something and you can actually go into the grocery store and pick them up for it for 50 60 70 cents come on so when you look at it that way, you're better off just making sure that your your mini fridge having your water, your juice, and things like that. Um, I, because I'm traveling with the children, I tend to like pick up little um, cat sausages, little treats, lots of fruits um, that you can kind of keep in the fridge. And if they feel for something later on in the in the evening or whatever, and the restaurant downstairs is closed, you guys there's something and not only that depending on where you are in the world there's a lot of places that you may not want to be out and about um late nights so you want to ensure that you have all the things that you need just in case because a lot of times like i personally i would not be out and about with my large family in jamaica late at night um there's no purpose for that uh, and lots of safety issues safety reason why I wouldn't do that um, you know when I'm in Kingston by myself and I go to venues and things like that because I'm rolling by myself it's a little bit different you know because it's you one you know if anything go down you can move faster you know you have to take those things in consideration but while traveling with my family this is not something I would do nor recommend you to do anyways the main thing is I always advise the basics to pick it up once you get into the store not only that if you're staying at a hotel it, even if you don't pack your little Lysols and stuff in your suitcase I always whatever country I land in stop and pick up like small disinfectant things um, I usually try to travel with like a little pack of wipes so I'll have that a pack of um you know Lysol wipes or whether you use Dettol because you know over um in in the UK and stuff Dettol is a big deal in Jamaica Dettol is a big deal so even though they have Lysol they kind of tend to use Dettol so even if you pick that up just to kind of you know I know that you depend on the hotel staff to clean the bathrooms and stuff like that but I like to spray things down it's just an extra precaution that I take to ensure that my kids don't get sick or I don't get sick. Hallelujah, so sorry, I'm not leaving my sorrow. But anyways, the next thing I found in the Jamaican grocery store is that why things are expensive. Okay? Things are really expensive. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that we as Jamaicans are importing majority of our goods which kind of blows my mind because we actually have the land we have the resources to actually do away with importing all this stuff because we're capable of growing our own fruits and 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 things like that and just food in general 
I am not sure why we're doing that because we have so much land space. So not to talk politics or whatever, but I'm positive if we can get some of these farmers in Jamaica some land and, and encourage that, um, encourage them to actually, you know, grow food so that we can cut down our import, then we would be able to keep the money that we're bringing into the country. But right now, everything that we're bringing in the country, we are consistently sending it back out. So it, it comes in, but then it goes right back out to these same countries, such as the U.S. Um, even now, Trinidad, te we tend to have a lot of products that we get from Trinidad, from the soaps to to so much here uh shampoos i was like wow, i was blown away with that so i try to look for when i'm grocery shopping one of the things i try to look for is a jamaican uh flag that says jamaican product so i try to look for that when picking up items because i want to try to buy things that are made in jamaica because it's my way of supporting the economy and you know what even though i i am not you know majority of the people but i think it starts with one you know it starts with you first if we want to be the change that we want to see then we it needs to start with us that change should start with us that's just my theory so anywho not to bore you talking about politics and food and imports but anyways back to shopping so we got into the store of course we're picking up and the main things that I'm going for is the basic necessities, little snacks that we can have in the hotel. Because, again, you know, we're in Jamaica. Um, for those people who haven't been home for a while, and even when you have been home, been in Jamaica, and you haven't been in Jamaica, I'm sorry, for a while, you travel and you come back home, there are some little things that you must have, right? And one of my little things, unfortunately, I didn't come across Asham because I love Asham. I don't know if you guys know what Asham is, but Asham, <laughs> Asham is like corn that they grind out and they mix it with brown sugar and they put it in this little wrap of paper thing. And we used to love this as a child. Oh my gosh, Asham was like, and it's still one of my favorite things to have. Um, and next thing, of course, apart from get when you get to Jamaica, you must have your fruits, you know, whatever is in season, you tend to want that. A lot of times you want everything and sometimes it's not in season, right? So it's good if you love a particular fruit or vegetable or whatever to try to find out if it's in season before going because I'm telling you you're going to be disappointed if you get on a plane and go to Jamaica and it's not in season trust me I'm speaking from experience anywho so one of the things I must have I love Asham right so because I there's no Asham my backup which I wouldn't call it a backup I would call it uh, a must-have also is my milk powder like no matter what and if I ever come to Jamaica pregnant oh my gosh that's all I'm going to eat the whole time I'm here just milk powder so my next one is milk powder right so for those people who haven't tried this I'm telling you when you arrive to Jamaica go get a bag of Lasko milk powder mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. make sure it's just plain milk powder mm -hmm. not because the, they have the vanilla the soy the blah 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 I have to have the plain milk powder and you pour a little bit in a bowl and you get a nice spoon mm -hmm. and let me tell you something when you put that spoon in your mouth and you dip it back it's one of the sweetest thing ever some people <laughs> like to add sugar I used to like sugar with it but I just enjoy it all by itself. So that's my next must have when I get to Jamaican store, any Jamaican grocery store, right? The next thing is our um, red stripe sorrel. I don't drink enough, but I like, I just like the taste of a red stripe sorrel. The funny thing is, I will have a liquor tip because I don't, I can't drink the whole bottle, which I know you guys are like, oh my God, this girl is lame. Anywho, but. I will have the liquor part and then put it back in the fridge and then probably have a little bit more, a little bit more. I just like the taste of that one, but I can't drink. And although it's not a strong liquor, it just has a unique flavor to it. Some people like the lemon. Um, yeah, Red Stripe turned up their game, I guess, when they did this um, sorrel. So if, you, if you're a drinker, you know, perhaps you will enjoy that and you will be able to drink more than one bottle. You know, and one bottle won't last you for like <laughs> three weeks, but you will have 
you know you enjoy it so that's that's a next little thing and of course you know your sweeties and your biscuits so police button for those who know police button is a must-have right and then you have the smarties which we're we're all used to although the smarties the flavor has changed from the way that it was when i was a child because um the uk or europe banned a lot of the hydrogenated oils and things like that so they had to refine the flavor so it's not the same smarties does not taste the same as it used to but anyways it doesn't matter it's just the fact that you're going to pick it up in that little package and you're going to just probably wherever you're seated standing whether you're on the beach or whatever and you close your eyes for a few minutes it's going to take you back to a wonderful time in your childhood um and of course you know it just brings back a ton load of memories, right? So those are my little to must have cheese tricks. I was, I, although people love their cheese tricks, I was never a big fan of cheese tricks like that. Like I said, I liked weird things like the asham or sock sock. Like I would do anything who, the people who know sock sock, I would do anything to have a sock sock. Although you can make it yourself with some ginger and some pineapple juice and, you know, you mix up your liquor juice and, you know, your, your thing and, and put it in our bag. But that was great childhood memory. Getting your sock sock or uh, icy or whatever you want to get on the road. That was nice. So again, these little things bring a smile on your face and, you know, it just takes you back to a simpler time in life. And it's crazy that when you really think about it, the generation that we're in now won't have these simple things, you know. And it's sad, but I'm happy that I grew up in the time and the era that I did. Um, because truly, you know, the simple things such as those things make a big difference. So again, the bottom line is what you can do for your kids in this time and era that we're living is create great childhood memories. So I would still try to find some of my little fun Jamaican treats and share it with them because they will remember they went to Jamaica at this time or and they enjoyed this. So look around in the grocery store, try to find something that um, if you're not Jamaican, something that you like that is close to a treat that you probably had in your country and you know try out something new you know try out something new don't be afraid to try out something new so anywho the next thing that I was really disappointed is and I find that I'm always disappointed when I go into the Jamaican store is fruits because we have so much different fruits right you know since mango season first and foremost there was mangoes dear yes there was East Indies but there should be a swamp load of variety of mangoes to choose from in the grocery stores because most of the people that do come back to Jamaica are Jamaicans and these are criteria that they're looking for. These are things that they want. So I found that there was a limited amount of mango. I was happy that there were some. I was first disappointed because I was looking and I didn't see all the things. Sugar cane, it was like these liquor bugs that's already like sealed and I felt like there should be more coconut. There should be there should be like so much varieties of coconut water. Like I just find that there was limit limited. It, this was limited to what was available. Next thing, I found a bag of apples that was really good um, because I love my apples, and I'm talking about Jamaican apples. But I just found that there was so much more American fruits than Jamaican fruits, and that kind of you know really just didn't sit well with me like be creative you know hey try jamaican apple you know and and instead of importing all these apples so i mean that's just my take on it but who am i to make these decisions you know i, I could just speak my mind and we can all we are all going to have our own opinion but any, anybody who knows where I can get some asham, please. I wanted so bad to take them to the country because I need them to, to be able to eat stinking toe. My husband, because he grew up in Kingston, they just look down on stinking toes. So for those people who like stinking toes, please comment in the box below and tell me about your experience, your first time having stinking toe or just your general um, outlook on stinking toe. All right? I am really curious to hear about all the people who actually like Stinking Toe so I could prove to him how stink, how good Stinking Toe is. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming along with us to our grocery store. Again, we are at the John 
our one grocery store in Kingston. Go over to Tink Setup. Make sure to say a like, share, and subscribe. See you guys out there. You know that we need your support. So I thank you guys so much for everything.